I like that word. I have a question. I could use a snack. Backyard life. Play. Hmm, I wonder what lives here. Let's take a closer look in the plants and see what we discover. Wow, there are so many plants and animals living together in this habitat. Let's make a habitat of our own. Let's start by adding some rocks and branches. Tap on the book if you want to hear about the things you can add to your habitat. Let's keep going. Plants. Flowers. Now we can choose a plant to add. You can always use my book to learn more information. Leafy plants are good food for lots of bugs. Let's look around. Oh, wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. Now we get to add animals. Lots of different animals live together here. Let's pick one and learn what happens. Worm. Leaf cutter ant. Ants live in large groups. They work together to collect leaves to take back to their nests. I notice each time we add to the habitat, new plants and animals can live there. Snail. Bark centipede. Tap on the things in the tray to learn about them. When you are ready to add something, tap the book to close it. Bark centipedes eat small insects. Snails are food for animals like birds and snakes. Snails are food for animals like birds and snakes. Put something from the tray into the habitat. Look, we're going up. I wonder what we'll discover. Different animals can be found living here. I wonder what we'll find. Ladybug larva. Aphid. These are larva, or baby ladybugs. How will they need to change to be adult ladybugs? We can take a closer look at the plants and animals with this magnifying glass. Move the magnifying glass over a plant or animal and click it to see it up close. I notice a ladybug larva has a long, bumpy body. What do you notice? The jaws of leafcutter ants work like a pair of scissors to cut leaves into pieces. Rough green snake. Or weaver spider. Orb weaver spiders build webs of strong, thick silk to catch other bugs to eat. Aphid, rough green snake. Aphids are very small and can move quickly. 
Let's keep exploring. Honeybee. Five lines skink. Honeybees tell each other where food is in a special way. They do something called a waggle dance with their bodies. Monarch caterpillar. Yellow jacket wasp. Caterpillars are the baby form of butterflies. I wonder what colors and patterns this butterfly will have. Five lined skink. Yellow Jacket Wasp. Wasps live in groups called colonies. The ladybug is now an adult. It has a red shell with spots on it. Wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. I wonder what we'll find. Bumblebee. Yellow jacket wasp. Bumblebees move pollen from one flower to another. This helps make more flowers. American robin. Loggerhead shrike. Sometimes the robin bird hops along the ground looking for its food. I noticed the yellow jacket's body has a yellow and black pattern. We finished our habitat. I love nature. Let's keep exploring. You can keep exploring or you can make another habitat. Do you want to start a new habitat?